Hi guys, it's your girl, How To Mommy, and I'm gonna do an unboxing video. Okay, so I really wasn't gonna do this video, but something made me upset, and I will tell you why. So I had ordered like a bunch of freebies. Um, I got the welcome box from Amazon because I am an Amazon Prime member. So basically, what a welcome box is from is the baby welcome box. So like you have to do a registry on Amazon, pay something for ten dollars. I think I bought like a a baby hooded bath towel thing that has a hood on it so I bought one of those so that I was able to get this box that says it has $35 worth of material in it for free so I was planning on doing this video when I I did Infamil and I did Simulac I believe like the free um the, the freebies that they give out so like they usually give out like formula and stuff and like bottles and stuff so I was gonna do all these boxing stuff together but the reason why I want to do this box separately I did not pay the $35 for it I did get it free because I did have an Am Amazon Prime member and I did do a registry with them and I did pay for the $10 item so this was considered a freebie but it said it was supposed to have $35 worth of items in it and I do not think that it has $35 worth of item now I don't know if you pay the $35 if you do get $35 worth but it said the free box was still supposed to have 35 dollars so that's why i want to do this video now it's the way for everything to come in so like if somebody's gonna pay 35 dollars, i would suggest them not to because i really don't think it was worth 35 dollars. okay so the first thing the box came i'm gonna cover up my address so like multiple places on the box okay so this is how the box came welcome box amazon and then it has like the baby stuff so it has like the onesie the bottle the pacifier carriage bottles rattles it's cute okay and then it has like this green paper so the box came okay so the first thing that you get now if I'm wrong let me know because I really don't think this is $35 so the first thing that you get is seventh generation life should start clean it's a diaper for sensitive kit sensitive skin and it's newborn up to 10 pounds and it's ultra absorber i'm just gonna open up the packages i i just i don't know i just feel like it's really not i was so excited to get this box too and i feel like you, like some people on youtube got like wipes and stuff i don't know i just don't think it was like 35 dollars but okay so you get two diapers i thought it was just one i will bring these with me in my hospital bag when it's that time to go because I do coupon too. So downstairs, I think I have one Pampers. Because I like Pampers more than Huggies. I have one Pampers. Um, shoot, what am I thinking? I have one box of Pampers newborns downstairs. One little bag. I don't know if I have. I think I might have a diaper review from my daughter somewhere on my channel. So you can go dig around and find that if you like. So that's what the diaper looks like. I forget how tiny they are. But yeah. No smell to it. It's supposed to be like a, um, what is this? Like a healthy company or something? I don't know, guys. Yeah, it's like recycle or something. So I'm really saying it says ultra absorbent, soft and gentle, substantially sourced. So I think that's like when they um, recycle. So there's two diapers in here. And they're like tan color. I don't know if they're picking up. I like the color of my shower curtain. Okay, next thing I got was... Avent breast pads. I got two of them, which I really don't need anymore because I bought a brand new Medela breast pump off Craigslist and it was brand new. Everything was still in the box. Everything was sealed. I got it for $40, guys. 40 bucks. And she gave me bottles that she never used. She gave me a lot of stuff. And I know everything was brand new because it was all sealed really nice. Um, yeah, so I got one of those. So that came with breast pads too that she didn't open. So I have 100 of those breast pumps and I bought my own breast pads I mean sorry a hundred breast pa pads so I have not some other Johnson & Johnson breast pads too okay so next thing I got is this Johnson & Johnson baby bubble bath it's this improved formula I don't know if you guys know but Johnson & Johnson just had like this controversy in the um, media about their stuff having cancer in it so I, was, I wasn't really gonna buy anything for my new child but this is new and approved I'm gonna put my glasses on in a little bit and look at the ingredients and um, type in each ingredient and to see if any of those are carcinogens because I really don't want my newborn to have you know cancer or get cancer like use cancer causing products you know 
Um, so yeah, but it smelled really good. So yeah, and it's the, I know they have different color, but this is the blue bottle. And it says right there, new and approved, like it says new and approved formula. So I don't know. We shall see. If it's fine, I guess I will try to use it. Okay, so the next thing that we got is baby Janix face, hands, and baby wipes. There's only 10 in here. So I'm going to probably put this in my um, my diaper bag. So yeah, I'm definitely going to put that in my diaper bag. Okay, next thing that we got is, once again, the Avot. It's the natural, Philips natural, Phyllis Avot natural box. Can't read today. The most natural way to feed the baby. Okay, and it's four ounces. This is what it looks like. It looks like it has like little vents so it doesn't get colic. Does it? Yeah. Yeah, there's not too many pieces. I do have the Modella bottles. I don't know how you say them. She gave me like nine, eight or nine ounces and then four ounces i have five of the bigger ones for the smaller ones and then i did buy it can't, it might be this brand i really don't remember but another bottle but it's the angle bottle and then i also bought the tommy no was it tommy tippy could have been tommy tippy or however you say it um i bought it was the green pack and it was um so that they don't get air inside of them too uh, with my daughter, we used Dr. Brown's, and that was a whole struggle to find a bottle that she actually liked. It took us a long time. That's why I didn't buy as many bottles, you know, because I wasn't like, I don't know what this baby's going to like. Next thing we got is an MAM Mal pacifier designed to keep baby calm. I do have a lot of pacifiers from Couponing that I got, like, years ago. I don't know if they expire or anything, but, um, yeah, so I do have a bunch of pacifiers. Um, all different brands just because usually like, Kmart has a 5 out 25 when they double their coupons. They get them pretty cheap. Okay, next thing that I have is Burt's Bees Baby Bee um, Tear Free it's Shampoo and Wash. It's a small, like, little travel size. I mean, it's nice for the house and stuff. Maybe I'll leave this at my mom's house, but um, I can't really smell it. Oh, it smells. Uh, it smells kind of good. I don't know. The first wolf was kind of like, Ugh. well, yeah. It smells good. I really don't know anything about this company, but like I said, I'll have to. I'm gonna look into this Johnson and Johnson's, and I'll look into this one to make sure they don't have any cancer-causing agents in there. Next thing is Baby Janix again, moisturizing daily lotion. I'll put some on my skin. And it smells. This one smells good. It smells like a um. It reminds me of, I don't know if you guys use e.l.f., but their um, face primer. That's what it kind of smells like, which is kind of like a worse, oh, but it's really like, I'm actually buy this. It's really soft, and it really moisturizes your skin really good. That's pretty neat. Extra gentle. I really like this, actually. Non-allergenic, dermatology tested. Natural seed oil blend. I really like this actually guys. This is this is really nice. I might buy a big bottle of that. I think I am. I really like this. It smells a little off-putting, but it's not bad. It's just different. Yeah, it smells nice. Okay. Next thing I got, I was like, oh, really? It's some new chapters, um, perfect prenatal multivitamin. It's a five-day trial size and it's 15 tablets. So I'm like five days. So you're supposed to take three tablets a day. I don't know, but I didn't. Op I did open these. But I didn't open up the seal. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna keep these because my other prenatal vitamins, which I just like the Walmart brand that I just bought. Um, they I don't like them at all. So I'm trying to see if I can get some gummies. But that's these ones. It says natural prenatal. I'm trying to see how much folic acid it has. Yeah, so 600 MCG. I think it's supposed to get like 400, so it does have a lot of that. Okay, now this is what we have next. My um, my boyfriend actually ate this. He said it was um very good. It's 
the kind caramel almond and sea salt only five grams of sugar i don't like nuts so that was the reason why i did not eat this but he ate the whole bar um seven grams of fiber six grams of protein gluten free no gmo low glycemic no sugar alcohols ingredients you can see and produce so yeah it's the caramel almond and sea salt he said it was really good he said um he would buy this with his own money what else did he say? He said you taste the almonds first and then you taste the salt and the caramel. So he did like this. I probably will pick him up some more because he really did like this. Yeah. Okay. That's that. And then like the last thing, I have like a enjoy free complimentary samples from Amazon.com. And then I got this room. Building break moments. Whatever that is, at least two pamphlets. And the last thing I got was Birds to Be Renewal Intensive Firming Syndrome um, Serum. So, reduction of fine lines and wrinkles. So, I feel like it's just something they just threw in here. I mean, you can't really tell of this one sample that's going to change, like, your fine lines. So, other than that, I don't know. I, I just don't feel like it was worth, like, $35. I mean, this pacifier, $5. This bottle, maybe six dollars. Um, I don't know how much these would cost. Prenatal usually aren't expensive, but maybe it's like a really expensive. So I don't know. I know my prenatals. I pay like five dollars for them. Um, they're not Walmart brand, but they were sold at Walmart. These little travel size can't be more than like a dollar or two. Cause I know like a full size of one of these is like four or five dollars at CVS. So this can't be more than a dollar or two. I know about Burt's Bees products, so I don't really know how much they cost. Um, small thing of baby wipe, baby wipes, a dollar at Dollar Tree. Uh, breast pumps, maybe two dollars. And two diapers. I know you can get like a three pack of Pampers for like a dollar. I don't know how much seventh generation costs. I never used their diapers, so this would be exciting for me to use. But the only thing I'm really excited about are maybe the diapers and the bottle. Everything else I'm like, eh. So yeah, my personal opinion, I would not have bought this for $35, and if I did buy it for $35, I think I would be returning it, but once again, I did say, I did get this for free, this is my honest opinion, I don't know if you pay $35 if you get something um, different, but that's just my honest opinion on it, so thank you so much for watching, and have a nice day.